We were um, talking uh, just now, of course, about your uh, single, Remember Me, which released last Friday. Um, but you you said that uh, you written it two years ago. Um, so is that how long it takes? Maybe I, I, I mean, I know nothing about the music industry. Is that how long it takes to make a record? No, um, I think it was from my first batch of songs when my label and I were really experimenting with finding my sound. Uh, and it was just something that we had stuck on the shelf for a long time with a bunch of other singles, kind of like biding its time, waiting for its right moment to really like lead people to this new sound. Cause it's quite a, it's quite a different sound. It's quite a departure from the stuff that I've done. Um, and it's a bit bigger of a pop track than I've done. So we really wanted to like lead up to it, kind of lay the track work for it. Do you, some artists will, that first moment that the music is released, they'll be on social media to see what people are saying about the songs and the lyrics and things like that. Do you do that? Yeah, I'm awful when it comes to that kind of thing. I, I, I just, I've always had that mentality where I would rather know, like even if everybody hates it and I get like ripped to shreds for it, I would rather know that. Um, Cause whatever I have in my mind is 10 times worse than whatever's actually happening. So if I sit in silence and like try to celebrate on my own, I will concoct a reality that is much more dire than than the reality. So I like to I like to know what's up. Well, you debuted the acoustic version um, online as part of the World Health Organization Together at Home concert series. Um, yeah. Did you notice like a, a, a jump in interest rate at that moment, or because I like again I don't really know how it works. So you know I'm just used to you guys coming on the show and performing, and you know that's usually how it happens. Yeah, you know, I think I think that right now, um, I think that including Remember Me in the Together at Home series was kind of an afterthought. It was much more like uh, World Health came to us with this opportunity, and we really, really, I really, really wanted to um, take part, especially in what felt like it was really early and something that was going to end up being really big. You know, I, I think that... Um, it felt like that was an important moment to step in and utilize my young fan base and really tell everybody to stay at home, tell everybody how to best take care of themselves. Um, and and then you can you can get people to watch, obviously, by being like, I have a new song. Um, but I, hmm. I've never performed it before. Uh, so that was a bit nerve wracking because it's not like an easy uh, transition from like a big track to a to an acoustic set. But yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised by how many people tuned in. And it's definitely fun to start doing more things that feel more like I'm a musical artist. Well, hold up those nails. That's the single right there. Remember me. It's out <laughs> now. Cameron, great to see you. Take care, okay? Good luck. Thank you so much.